drunken sailor, what shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Hey, hold up, she rises, hey, hold up, she rises, hey, hold up, she rises early in the morning. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do? With a drunken sailor, what shall we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Sailor, what shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Shave his balls with a rusty razor, shave his balls with a rusty razor, shave his balls with a rusty razor early in the morning. Hey, hold up, she rises, hey, hold up, she rises, hey, hold up, she rises early in the Shall we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Hey, hold up, she rises. Hey, hold up, she rises. Hey, hold up, she rises early in the morning. I hit it. I was ready. I was ready. 
I'm trying to be a dicky, but I'm clueless. Thanks, Eichlers. That song's by Eichlers. If you haven't heard it already, now you've heard it. Hello, Mortal Killer 879. I. What were you streaming? I saw you were streaming before, but I didn't. I was like taking a nap. I was tired today. Phasmophobia. I don't know anything about that game. Is it fun? Division 2, Tom Clancy, he wrote all those books and then he died, but his family will continue to collect royalties in perpetuity from Ubisoft for putting his name on video games. Wait, did Tom Clancy die? Am I, li am I spreading lies on the internet? I think Tom Clancy died, right? Yeah, he died. Okay. Rest in peace, Tom Clancy. Your name will live on in the name of a million video games. Faz, you're trying to find the host, the ghost. The, the ghostest with the hostest and the mostest that is haunting the area. That's great. I hope it was fun. <laughs> Sorry, no, I hope it was fun. Um, I do want to catch one of your streams sometime. You were streaming really late one night, and I was like, I got to catch Moral Killer on stream. And then you were streaming today, and I was like, um, <laughs> not because of you. I'm not saying your stream put me to sleep. I'm saying life put me to sleep. Anyway, check out Mortal Killer 879. They were playing Tom Clancy's The Division 2 and also Phasmophobia. We're also playing a game that is two in, in the title. What a coincidence. How many video games can you think of that have the number two in the title? Hello. We're playing Monkey Island. It's way too loud. Just hold on a second. Way too damn many. I don't know what you're talking about. It's, I don't, I can't think of that many. Oh wait, I don't want to continue. I want to start a new game. I want to start a new game because I've played this game before, but, uh... What's your favorite game that is two in the title? Mine is Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge. Well, it's my favorite right now. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. There we go. Watch this. Well, well, well. Guybrush Threepwood. You do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Do you think you could help me out? Okay, first of all, Anybody familiar with Monkey Island? I kind of just launched right into it. I'm I'm really good at doing that. I'll like I start the stream and then we're there. Never heard of it. He says he's never heard of it. Our oh, our matey, our I we forgot our gimmick. Our cuz we're going to be doing voices the whole stream. Our it's talk like a pirate day. Arr. Arr. If, if chat don't be talking like pirates, y'all are gonna be keel hauled. Arr. I'm gonna try doing a helium voice one stream. That should be fun. How high pitched can my voice go? I'm gonna try doing a helium voice one stream. Now I have to do a character on stream who talks that high. No, I don't. No, I don't. Never mind. Hey, do we? You've never heard of Monkey Island Two? It's it's a game about monkeys and an island. We played Monkey Island One uh, a while ago. It's not on YouTube, but I guess I should put it on YouTube, huh? Because the new I should be putting my Monkey Island stream archive on YouTube because the new Monkey Island game is out. But of course, I didn't think about it. You've never heard of the series? There's a new game out today. It's blasting in my ears, hold on. There's literally a new game out today. Uh, Return to Monkey Island. It's the it's the sixth game in the series, but it's also the third game in the series. Last monkey game I played would be either DK64 or Apis Escapus. Apis, those are both great games. This is like neither. This is a, an old fashioned, yar. <laughs> this be here an old fashioned pointing and clicking game. With my hook hand, I'm gonna be doing a lot of pointing and a lot of clicking. This is how pirates, this is how a pirate with like, um, uh, I was gonna say restless leg syndrome. Rest, was restless arm syndrome a thing? My pirate. <laughs> Arr, I used to wanna be an artist. 
but me arm wouldn't stand still. Okay, that's enough of that. We're playing Monkey Island too. Let's go. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. So in the last game, Guybrush Threepwood, hey, spoilers for Monkey Island 1. Guybrush Threepwood wants to be a pirate, and then at the end of the game, guess what happens? Guybrush Threepwood becomes a pirate. So in this game, Guybrush Threepwood's already a pirate, and I'm going to stop saying Guybrush Threepwood now. Guybrush Threepwood. I lied. You do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? It's kind of a long story. That's okay. I've got time. Uh, well... It all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Oh yeah, this so this it's gonna retell the end of the last game. LeChuck's Revenge, Monkey Island, two. Hey, look, it's the monkeys. I'm gonna crack open a. Look at these monkeys dance. Dance monkey, dance monkey, dance monkey. Uh uh oh. Uh. Hey, you guys get out of here. I'm trying to drink Dr. Pepper. Hashtag not sponsored. Mm. Created and designed by Ron Gilbert. This game's more expensive than the last game. It has opening credits. I did play a little bit of this on screen before. Written and programmed by Tim Shaver, Tammy Borowick, the creator of Freddy Fish, Dave Grossman, Brett Barrett, who also worked at Humongous Entertainment, and of course, Ron Gilbert. Background art by Peter Chan, Steve Purcell, a.k.a. Sam and Max, creator Steve Purcell, Sean Turner, and James Dollar. Animation by Sean Turner, Larry Ahern, Mike Laughlin, Steve Purcell, again, Ken Macklin, Colette Michaud, and Peter Chan. I think Colette worked at Humongous Entertainment, might be wrong. Music by Michael Land, again, King, Peter McConnell, and Clint Bajakian, all of whom are back for Return to Monkey Island. We're doing a little dance if I click away. Oh no, nice. Deep in the Caribbean Scab Island. So, I bust in the church and say, You're in, f now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. And then LeChuck cries, Garbrush, have mercy, I can't take it anymore. Er, I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No. Bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. There we go. You mean, big whoop? I can't do two voices. I'm talented, but not that talented. None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. So that's the start of this game, and the audio is kind of loud. Let's turn that down a little bit. Yeah, so it seems like when I click away, it registers clicks, so it might have cut the opening sequence. Let's see if the monkeys dance anymore. Hi, embarrassing. Shout out to embarrassing. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We gotta, we, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Fuck y'all! Fucking embarrassing! Fucking embarrassing! It's fucking embarrassing! Fucking embarrassing! Fucking embarrassing! Fucking embarrassing! Fucking embarrassing! Mm. Fucking embarrassing! I gotta go get a paper towel. I'll be right back. Fucking embarrassing! Oh, well that's embarrassing. Yeah, I spilled a little soda. You know how I feel about that? <laughs> I think it's a little fucking embarrassing. Uh, while I'm gone, why don't you enjoy the opening credits again so that, um... So that I, uh... <laughs> they, can be, they can be fixed. I'll be right back. Just, just, just have a good time. How are you doing, embarrassing?
wanted to see if the monkeys dance anymore. No, see, but I clicked away. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, the music's really good. And then I clicked away and it stopped. Okay, hold on. I can fix this. Because really what I want is just this. I want just this. Well, well, well. I don't want voices. I don't want you voices. Do turn up in the voices are places. illegal. Uh, okay, check this out. Hi, Elaine. I want to see the monkeys dance. That's all I wanted. Oh, there's more. See, I didn't get all the credits. James Purple. Good job, James Purple. Uh, Jim Current, not Jim in the past. I don't know, that sucked. Ezra and Squiggly, you know, all the people. All the people who make important games. Ron Gilbert and Brad P. Taylor took, um, took scum with them to Humongous Entertainment to make Pat Putt and Freddy Fish and all that stuff. Shelly Day co-founded Humongous Entertainment and then embezzled a bunch of money. Well, actually, she, she didn't embezzle money from Humongous. She defrauded investors. Okay, and then we have made it. We've made it back to the point where we're at in the game right now as we're playing it. Congratulations, folks. We did it. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more. We did it. Um, I can't skip through this, so. Oh, I can make the dialogue go faster, though. How's, how we don't, how we all doing tonight? <laughs> Let's turn the sound down a little bit more. See, I just gotta tweak it. This is what happens when you don't, <laughs> when you don't play test before your stream like me. Uh, what's happening? There we go. I'll turn the dialogue down. Look at how pretty the backgrounds are in this game. It's actually ridiculous. Ha! Huh. Those guys wouldn't know a good story if they paid 50 bucks for it. Never pay more than 20 bucks for a video game. When I find Big Whoop, I'll be a legend among pirates for generations to come. If only I could charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Gee, I wonder what we are. I wonder what we have to do next in this game. Part one, part one, the Largo Embargo. Hey, it's Talk Like a Pirate Day. Are we gonna talk like a pirate? Or are we gonna talk like a fucking pirate? Okay, off we go. Press A for audio commentary. We're not gonna do that this time. Can we look at anything? Can we look at Guybrush? Can we look at the sign? Welcome to Wood Tick. Look, no treasure hunting zone. See, we've got all this good stuff from us being pirates. This may be a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to how rich I'll be when I find Big Whoop. I think I'm pretty well prepared financially for now. I should be set for the whole trip with this. This should be plenty of money to charter a ship. Look at all this. I've got enough to buy my own ship in five different currencies. I'll be traveling first class on this treasure hunt. It sure took a long time to save all this. No more part-time circus work for me. This sure is a lot of dialogue. Of course. Okay, there we go. Oh, thank you, embarrassing. You're gonna make me blush again. This is all going on my voice reel. I'm gonna have the world's longest voice reel. Uh, let's pick up, I know, I know what to do here. Oops, I picked up the, sh I think I broke the sign. Now, let's leave. Whoops, excuse me. <laughs> Out of my way, fancy pants. Uh, on second thought, stop right there. You ain't from these parts, are you? This here's a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Hmm. Who's gonna make me, shorty? Tough guy, eh? Ah, help! Police! What kind of pirate calls the cops? Or scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Eh. One of these two. I want to know who wrote 
Arr, it is pirate day. <laughs> it sure is. I said if if chat be not talking like chatting like a pirate, you're gonna be keel hauled. Um, I love that the two answers. I wonder. <laughs> this feels like a, a a Dave Grossman. Then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I don't, I don't think we call him that anymore. I roughs up what needs roughing up on this island. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Largo La Grand. That's nice that, that they teach you what, how his name's pronounced. Ah, <sighs> tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Boom, boom, hey, did you know this game's from the 90s? Did you know? Uh, hey, so that's the start of the game. We get robbed, and that's it. Now we only have a shovel. Let's look at our shovel. Thrifty Dig, trademark, for the treasure hunter on a budget. I love this music, though. Let me know if the music's too quiet. Welcome to Wood Tech. Oh, I already read this. Now we can leave. <clears throat> I love the map. I love the map of Scab Island. It's so pretty. Like, it looks... It looks like a painting. Well, maybe not a painting, but it looks like, you know, it looks like art. How does a pirate say, um, how would a pirate say ass? Arse. Where's, uh, where's Pandora when you need her? She'd have a bunch of pirate jokes. Let's go. Jolly me, <laughs> jolly me arse off, J M A O, Jamal. I think I played a fair amount of this, but I'm starting from the beginning. Uh, let's look at the person. He looks buff. Ahem. Yeah. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. Well, I was just asking you in a hypothetical, buddy. But if a woodchuck could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd like to see you do that one. <laughs> the music's a little quiet. Okay, hold on. Let's see now. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith. Which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. Thank you, embarrassing. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. A gun. <laughs> like a light and all night pet tattoo parlor? <laughs> no, like a voodoo doll of Largo Le Grand. Oh. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Let's look at this. Ooh, a calendar. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Hmm. How about we try to touch? What do you think you're doing? No one touches her but me. That's fair. Let's see this workbench. Nice, sturdy workbench. Everything's everything's laid out just how I need it. Yep. Hey, don't touch that. Everything's laid out just how I need it. I'm moving my chat so I can see it better. There we go. It's fair enough that everything's laid out just how you need it. Uh, what else we got here? We got the door. Oh, a peg leg. Wait a minute. That's about the best peg leg I've ever seen. Thanks. I made it myself. Can I pick up the peg leg? 
Hey, don't touch that. Oh, fine. I'm a pirate. Don't you know I'm supposed to steal? It's in my nature. And then the music changes when you go to different areas. I love that. Let's look at this sign. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Let's go. Oh yeah, this guy. I did play this a fair amount. It's Loki! How's it going, Loki? How you doing? How you been hanging in? This... Oh my god. My bad. Hashtag not sponsored. This one's for you. What is he using to clean those glasses? Let's ask him. Excuse me. <laughs> what kind of voice should we give this guy? <laughs> he said, yeah, boy. But he said it like a question. I'm trying to think of what voice this guy should have. Because I'm giving everybody like gruff. I can't give everybody rough and tumble voices. I'm thinking about a Mario voice. <laughs> Wanna see my scar? Hey! Wanna see my tattoo? <laughs> uh, Mortal Killer, don't say that. Um, I, uh... I, I hope you didn't mean that in, like, a derogatory way, but we're not gonna do... Italian stereotypes are okay. But I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything remotely like that. Because I, I, any voice I do can be a gay voice. In fact... The way that I voice characters, every voice is a gay voice. So, yeah, let's not do that one. Um, Mario is Italian. That's true. Uh, I haven't been reading this. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run. I don't like that voice for him. We can use we can use a Mario voice another time. Currently zooted and spent the entire day thinking about Marvel things. It's okay, Mortal Killer. I, I appreciate that. Um <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Loki. Currently what kind of Marvel things have you been thinking about? I don't know what kind of How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. No one's got all the regular smokes. You know, I can make sure they drink the rest. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really make this island some good. An all night tattoo parlor? A voodoo doll is not gonna go out. You there! Uh oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Go, go, go. Blech. Oh, ew! Fork over the dough, or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. Oh, it's only half. Well, you'd better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Thank you, embarrassing. You know, you gotta you gotta try to figure stuff out. Um, mostly Loki, on brand, just all of it. The Infinity Saga. I was re I said this the other day. I was rewatching all of the Marvel movies, the the Marvel Studios movies, um, and I made it to Age of Ultron, which I liked at the time, but after that movie, I was just exhausted. I was like, I need a break. So I've seen most of the Phase Four stuff, but like I stopped my rewatch. Also, because I didn't, I didn't. What's after? Isn't like Civil War after that? Like I just, I, I really didn't like Civil War. I was dreading. I was like, please, I don't want to watch Civil War again. I could just skip it. Civil War was like the first time I really felt like discipline. Like I took my, um, my, my, the person I was dating at the time, and, um. I was like really hyping it up and I was like, no, like these ones are fun, everything. It was just like, I had egg on my face after that one. But a lot of people like that movie, so what do I know? 
I know my own opinions. That's about it. What's your favorite part of the Infinity Saga, Loki? Watch, you're gonna be like, Civil War. <laughs> my favorite part is Civil War. <laughs> How could you say that? I have a tattoo of them rushing each other at the airport. That'd actually be kind of cool. I'd be, I'd want to meet that tattoo artist. Anyway, let's talk to the barkeeper again. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Grog, please. Shaken, not ugh. Shaken, not stirred. Well, <laughs> maybe you'd like a surly temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some neo grog. It doesn't have any alcohol in it. But it's just as nasty tasting and foul tasting of that stuffed grown ups trick. It, he said nasty smelling, but. Oh, wait, what am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats, of course, have you also my D. Here's, here's a joke I never got as a kid until I became an adult and I experienced losing things in your other pants. I used to think it meant, like, I only have one other pair of pants. Which is a pretty funny implication, actually. I must have left my ID in my other pants. Uh, you have to do better than that. No ID, no sense. You know who all, um, can anyone guess who I'm modeling that impression off of? Or not impression, but like, can anyone guess who I'm modeling that voice after? It's, it's gonna be pretty insulting. It's not meant to be insulting to this actor because he was a great actor, but. <laughs> I'm, you know, steal from the greats, as they say. Not the Godfather. Oh, it does kind of sound like that. No, not the Godfather. It's not, um, it's not Marlon. He was one of the greats. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. No, <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Who's this Kate person? Uh, 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 the courageous Kate and Kate Simpsons. Tell the dude and the shop is nice. Cements are super. Need to do some feeling pain. How long the world is the high bill? <laughs> Don't get in the bathroom. <laughs> That's my Sylvester Stallone impression. That one's not flattering. No, no, um, I... I, without meaning to, it wasn't conscious, but as I was doing it, I was like, oh, this is Tony Soprano. This is my Tony Soprano. Well, number one is the lowest fucking form of fucking conversation. What if I been a fucking Gary Cooper? Real fucking man. Which actually, now that I think about it, there is kind of like a... He's kind of doing a Brando thing. Yeah. Yeah. Gandolfini. Again, one of the greats. He's incredible. He was such a good actor. He's only, he's mostly, I mean, you know, he did six seasons of it. He's mostly remembered for The Sopranos, but he did good stuff outside The Sopranos. He, he could have had a, a, a longer, more fruitful career if, it, if his health had been kept up. Anyway. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Let's look at the spit dripping down the wall. Largo's been here. What? Yeah, dude, he has. He sure has. Let's pick it up. I don't want to touch it with my hands. Can we touch it with the shovel? I can't. <laughs> Excuse me, Guy Rush? Ooh, he's getting spicy with me. Let's look at the piano. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. We can't play piano? Oh, well. There's an advertisement here. It reads, JoJo. Appearing nightly, no cover charge. JJBA? Is this is this book seven or book nine or however? I don't know how many there are. Yeah, I'm daddy. <laughs> oh God, I can't even like say that with a straight face. Uh. Hey. Oh. Uh. Hey. Hi. Help only. I need, need to do Thor or Loki best for a voice as best you can. Oh, also Loki, I love Thor Ragnarok. I Have you seen Love and Thunder? Because I haven't and I want to. Um, I can't do either of them. Because I don't know, what's Hemsworth? Hemsworth is just like, I don't know. If I find a character that 
I can do Hemsworth for. I definitely can't. I don't think I can do a Tom Hiddleston impression. He's a really good actor, but I don't like. If I if I worked it, if I worked it, I'm not gonna work on that live. But it, I might I might work on that in private. Oh, <laughs> no worries. Are you zooted too? Uh, let's look at the booths. Nice. Well, okay. I can't pick that up. I think we're done here. I read a, um, I was reading a review of the new Monkey Island game that came out today. And one of the things the reviewer said, this was in Polygon, and they were like, one of the old things from point and click games that the games have unnecessarily held on to is that when you click somewhere, you have to watch the character walk over there. What do you think is gonna, like, what, what would you substitute for doing that in a point and click game? You like click and the character just like teleports over there? Like what? I don't know, man. Sometimes people like write stuff and I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't know. I haven't seen that one yet because I went to watch it the other day and my brain went, ah, damn, this is the first Thor without Loki and I cried. Oh, Loki. Can you imagine if they'd gone through with the original ending to uh, the Dark World? <laughs> then you really wouldn't have had any Loki. Good thing Tom Hiddleston's very popular on Tumblr.com. It's too small. That's funny. It's like playing with perspective, but it's like, no, the bet's too small. Oh, I love this character. Who did this character sound like? I think I did a voice for them last time that I can't remember. That's it's very descriptive. It's a pile of blank paper. Nice map. Hmm. I'm going to give them like a nerdy voice, I think. I drew it myself. Oh, nice paper. That might be useful. It's blank. Now let's look at this person. Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. I'm doing too many nasally voices. How do you do a how do you do a nerdy voice without being nasally? Yo, Curbside Gaming Official, let's do to type a shout out to Curbside Gaming Official. <laughs> oh, and Simulation Cat, hello. How's that by Daylight Curbside? And how's Splatoon 3? Cat, I think I kind of know how Splatoon 3's been going for you. But how's streaming Splatoon 3 been? Did you, you finish the campaign, didn't you? Yeah, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Let's do a little hand heart for you. Welcome to the March stream. We're playing Monkey Island 2 because Return to Monkey Island came out today, but I didn't. Oh my god, everybody's pouring in. Retro Kels is here. It's good to see you, Retro Kels. Retro Kels. Oh my god, Fortnite. Did you play the new season? I played a little bit of it. You can't be a nerd without a nasally voice. You're right. You're right. I just did the nasally Gandolfini voice, so, but I, I got to do a nasally voice for this nerd. How have you been? I've been pretty well. This is sort of, you know, ups and downs, whatever, but not yet. I, oh, you haven't played Fortnite for a while. Okay. Um, I like the new season. You did finish the campaign. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to play it for myself, but I'm, do you think, um, Kat, do you think you're going to keep playing, like, streaming, like, multiplayer and stuff? I see a lot more people, in my experience, compared to one and two, I see a lot more people playing the compet like the ranked modes, as opposed to Turf War. Like, I feel like a lot, maybe, maybe it's because, well, excuse me, maybe it's because Splatoon 2 has been out for five years, but I feel like a lot of people got Splatoon 3 and jumped right to ranked. I still like Turf War. I'm still probably a Turf War man. I'm not even playing Salmon Run. Uh, okay, talk to them. Excuse me. Oh yes, hi there. Can I help you? Oh my god, I can be a, I can be a stud. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, let Chuck busting th stud. Uh huh. That was my best attempt. 
Doing voices with voices is the hardest, in my opinion. Because you're already doing a voice, and then you have to make that voice do a voice. Excuse me. Yes? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. Is that a pun? If so, I don't get it. Uh? What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. What kind of... What kind of joke is that? What's a heart surgeon called? A cardiologist? Yeah. Cardio... Th I don't know. That one's a stretch. <laughs> that one's a stretch. Maps. Huh. Well, that's interesting. See ya. Okie dokie. Nice monocle. Oh, no. I want to I talk to you, not look at you. My bad. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Hey, uh, me too. Ooh. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna do that one. Um... Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work too. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. Oh, that's cute. You know, artsy fartsy stuff. Maps are very, very important. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, cartographer joke. What, what happened to Magellan? Did he get killed by people? Did he, like, arrive on some island and got kill get killed by people, or did he get lost? Ferdinand Magellan. I know what he did, but what, what happened to... Sorry, I'm reading about Magellan. Isn't that so interesting? I don't know. I, this, I, I need the Cliff Notes version of Ferdinand Magellan. It's too confusing. I can't read. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. I gotta go to the library and p take out a book about Ferdinand Magellan now. You're making me do homework, kid. Hi, Wally. Uh, hello, Mr. Brush. Hmm. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh. Who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. <laughs> My god, some of these jokes are really just like, Hello, this game's from the 90s. This was what humor was like in the 90s. I was sent by the IRS. Ugh. Let me see your files. The who? You better not try for my files. No, not the who, the IRS, silly. All my research on Big Whoop is there. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well, I haven't been really able to find out much hard information. But soft information is all over the place. What do you know about it? I know I'm looking for it. And that's about it. You mean, you never heard of the four men who buried it? Uh, let's learn. No, tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine... Hmm... Went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island. But I don't believe that. Why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so pow wonderful or so horrible that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them. And they all went their separate ways. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library. Oh, there is a library. If it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo, of course, it could just be an old legend. But if I could just see the map of that island, 
I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? <laughs> Actually, I'm trying to get off of it as soon as possible. Good luck! With the sailing embargo Largo's imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. Uh, let's see. Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. It's an anarchist cooperative. Wow, they made, they're they so open-minded. Of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the swamp brought in has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. <laughs> Great, thanks for the lowdown. Anytime. <laughs> is longitude the sideways one or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. <laughs> Hello, Lissa! Oh my god! How you been, Lissa? Lissa had a great stream on Saturday. One of those days. Been one of those days. Check out Lissa's channel if you ain't already. Thanks, I gotta go. Okie dokie. Uh, let's ask this guy about maps one more time, and then we can move on. How you doing, Lissa? You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Who couldn't? What kind of maps do you make? Every kind of pirate can need. I'm so tired of doing this guy's voice. <laughs> My eyes have seen the whole world, and there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. I don't believe that. Maps are very, very important. I'm sure they are. Well, goodbye. Okie dokie. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. How you doing, Lissa? Is anybody excited for return to Monkey Island? I'm pretty excited for it, but I haven't obtained it yet. Okay, so I think we've been to three out of the five locations we need to go to in this town. Is it only on Switch? It's on PC, too. But from what I've heard, it is not on Xbox or PlayStation yet, though I'm sure it probably will be eventually. I think it makes a lot of sense for Switch because with Switch, you can use the touchscreen. Yeah, but it's, it's gotta be on PC because you point and click. You, you use your mouse, you're pointing and clicking. Oh my God, those butts. Whose butts are those? Jordan 13, who's, who's, who's this? I'll check them out later. Let's go to this party ship. Oh, this is the hotel, I think. Yeah. Oh, what's this? An alligator? She plays Fortnite. Oh, cool. I like the new season of Fortnite so far. I gotta play a little more of it. Probably after my stream I will. Oh, isn't that cute? Let's pick it up. I could lose a finger doing that. Is he gonna call me daddy again? <laughs> He's gonna call me daddy every time I ask him to pick stuff up with that shovel, eh? Oh yeah, you're loving Fall Guys, huh? We gotta be friends on Epic. Well, we don't gotta, but I would love to. I love this this guy in the background who's just like, whoop, whoop, hey, whoop, 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 whoop. Whoa, all my papers. I don't know what to do. Thank you, Blaze. Also, shout out to Blaze Fire Ends. Yeah, that's what I look like when I'm working too. All my frames of animation are dedicated to flailing my arms around. Shout out to Blaze Fire Ends for playing Dragon Age Origins. How you like in Dragon Age? Is it your first time playing or the newest time playing? Let's talk to the innkeeper. Let's look at the innkeeper. 
Busy guy. <laughs> yeah, he's working. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. <laughs> it's my favorite game. Nice. I only played Dragon Age uh, Dragon Age Origins once back in the day. I, unfor I had it on Xbox. I think I would have liked it more if I had it on PC. I played the Dragon Age 2 demo on PC and I really liked Dragon Age 2. And I remember being in college and people were like, Dragon Age 2 fucking sucks. Why do you even care about Dragon Age 2? But I, I thought Dragon Age 2 was cool. I never really gave... I think I might even have... Let me check Steam. Do I have Dragon Age Origins? Let's just close Monkey Island and play Dragon Age Origins. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it doesn't look like I own Dragon Age Origins on Steam. Okay, then. I've never played Knight of Fort. It's free. It's free to try. It's not like Fall Guys. There's more guns involved. Uh, let's walk to the door. Hold it right there. Wait, what's this guy's name? I f <laughs> That's a private room. No going up there. This this can be the Mario voice guy. Because I gave him a voice and then I forgot what it was. <laughs> Not the first or last time that's going to happen. Dragon Age 2 has this problem, but it's fun and the characters are interesting. I think for me, when I play a video game, the thing first and foremost is it has to be fun. And that's what I liked about Dragon Age 2. I was like, oh, this is fun. Oh, Pandora's is here with her jokes. Why did the Clydesdale give a pony a glass of water? Oh, because he was a little horse. I'm taking back that shout out. Just kidding. How you doing, Pandora? All right, let's talk. You got to do pirate jokes because it's talk like a pirate day. If you like smoking weed, let me hear you say hell yeah. Gotcha. Get these motherfuckers. Pot is ruining America. Yeah, we got a roll of pot heads. We're gonna need back up over. You fucking degenerates over here. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> you keep. Oh, yeah, uh, Mortal Killer, it would be fucking awesome if you did a pirate voice stream. A pirate. pirate voice stream. Er, why don't pirates shower before they walk the plank? I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> Thank you for that, uh, redeem embarrassing. Because they'll just wash up on shore later. <laughs> I like this part. I remember these guys over here. Ooh, let's... Can we talk to the rat? I guess not. Let's look at the laundry guy. He looks nice enough. Who are you? Mm. Sure, Sonny. I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, sweat, and spomp mud. Because I'm mad Marty. I'm... Oh, he's like, um... Hold on. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you. But I don't. I, my, I messed up Mad Marty's because he looked old and he has bad hearing, but then he's more like, um, because I'm Mad Marty. He's like a, a, you know, one of those guys. That's kind of like Stan's voice, but I gave Stan a different voice, so. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. Does the other sign say the same thing? Not responsible for stains left on clothing. <laughs> they don't seem responsible for anything here. Okay, let's see this bucket. It's just a bucket. Hey, leave that alone. Uh, sorry. Is this your bucket? Well, no. So, you wouldn't mind if I take it? I guess not. Nice, we got a bucket. Didn't I play this game before? Yes, Pandora, so I played Monkey Island 1. I played Secret of Monkey Island. And when I finished Secret... I... I I finished Secret of Monkey Island, and then I started Monkey Island 2, but then I played like a bunch of other video games and forgot about Monkey Island 2. So rather than kicking back up my Monkey Island 2 play playthrough and being like, hey everybody, remember when I played that game months ago? Do you, do you remember where we were? I just, I'm starting it over. I think that's more fair. 
I honestly don't remember much of it anyway. But now we have a we have a bucket, so it's just a bucket. Men of low moral fiber. Yep. <laughs> Got to get some fiber in your diet. They're sleeping peacefully. Let's wake them up. Ahem. Excuse me. You who? Excuse me for this. Thank you for the lurk, embarrassing. <gasps> Wake up! This guy, they look like Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Yeah, what is it? Oh, these are the guys from the first game. They were the men of low moral fiber. I remember them now. They weren't very helpful. Remember me? I'm Guybrush. Mm, we know you. I don't know how to do, what, is, what does David Crosby sound like? I'm not really a CSN guy. Or even CSNY. <laughs> I like this line. I love anything that breaks the fourth wall, I love. I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map? Map? Mm. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really? Remember Guybrush? The dialogue went too fast. I missed it. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. I, I, I gave that guy a similar voice. You see, after a uh, circus failed, we started doing a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The sacking lunch! It was quite lucrative! When I do guys in a group, I guess they all have the same voice at different pitches. The birds of a feather, right? What does this have to do with performing? I'm getting to that. There we go. The governor of our island made us an offer we uh, couldn't refuse. So we sold him the business. I don't know what to do with this guy. It's just going to be in the middle there. <laughs> Like I said, not the first or last time. But what what did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those new fangled glass bottom boats. We yeah, wanted to see uh, take passengers on sightseeing trips and search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of... Big whoop. Hmm. Do we want to be open or coy? I think we should be coy. We're a more savvy pirate than the first game. Yeah, the music is groovy. I love the music in these games. Um, there's going to be times where it like contextually blends. Also, thanks for using that emote. <laughs> there's going to be times where it like blends, which is really cool. Um, Michael Land was the main composer of this game. He's back for Return to Monkey Island. I don't remember what I was saying before, so let's move on. Big whoop! Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom. <laughs> so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed we were taking on water fast, you went on. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. How much longer is this story? Oh, I was gonna ask if the music's too loud. We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which uh, changed our lives. <laughs> that you should bore passerbys to tears with long stories? He told us that all the world's a stage, and we're merely players. So, we became performance artists. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? <laughs> what do I look like, a leg polisher? I got accepted into a programming program, but I don't know nothing about it. Well, if you were accepted, that's great. And you've got an opportunity to learn. I think that's awesome, Pandora, and congratulations. Congratulations for Pandora. Give me the money for the polish. Okay. Guybrush is a savvy pirate. Is that your rat? Yes. 
We call him Monster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. That's right. Performing. In our current work, we uh, portray man's environment to global environmental issues of a changing world. We didn't have climate change in the pirate days. Or does this pirate game take place in, like, modern times? Is that the whole rub? Yeah, Blaze, hell yeah. Oh, that's ominous uh, emotes, that's awesome. How come you have to perform on that ledge? And to show the precarious nature of the situation, so to speak. Right, right. Hmm, I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. We're giving notes now. Hmm, uh, but... Yeah, all right, you got us. We're really up here because, well... We're afraid to come down. What? That's the word for it, Frank. Uh, <laughs> Which one of these do we want to do? Earth, earthophobia? I would have liked earthophobia. Terraphermophobia? It's into the opposite of acrophobia, something like orcophobia. Fear of killer whales? Say what you will, we're not coming down. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Wow, we got one piece of eight. I'm rich. Ha! <laughs> ah. I want that rat. I want to pick up that rat. Oh, a box. Nice. It won't fit in my pocket. Can we use it? That doesn't seem to work. I can't move it. I can't move it. Can we open it? Ooh! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, we can trap the mouse! Oh! Oh, check this out. We gotta put cheese. Oh! Okay, the mouse loves cheese. So we gotta get some cheese. Put it in the box, and then we can, wait, well, let's see. Can we trap the rat this way? Open the box. Come on, buddy, get in the box. No, okay, we need cheese. Can we talk to this guy? Oh yeah, we didn't, we forgot to talk to this guy. Mad Marty, how's, how's this guy talk? I've got a laundry type question. Shoot, hmm. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out? Ketchup? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. The mouse loves cheese, I know. Can you believe it? I'd like to pick up some clothes. I'm just gonna, do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? That's, <laughs> I must have left it in my other pants. Why'd you trade it for chocolate-covered ants? What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean. I've got a laundry-type question. Shoot. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You've got some nerve. I'm sorry. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? Mom threw it out when she cleaned my room. What? You beaned your mom with a broom? You should treat her better than that. Uh, I thought I wanted to talk to you. But I don't. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get out of here. Um, so let's see. We have one piece of eight, a shovel, paper, and a bucket. Yeah, see, the music like adds in instrumentation as you go. I think that's awesome. I think we've discovered everything around here. I do like Guybrush's shitty beard. It reminds me of Prompto at the end of Final Fantasy XV. 
Okay, so we're we're in wood tick. There's a swamp. My swamp. Oh, the beach. That's where we came from. We came from the beach, so let's go back to the beach. North, east, west, south. I love this map. I love the art. Nice stick. Look at this. So this is the remastered version, so we can do this. Honestly, I think I like the old graphics better. But we're going for the authentic early 90s experience. So no, um, no voice acting. Well, there's plenty of voice acting. Also, fun fact, if a, uh, if a voice director or engineer sees me sipping soda between takes or whatever, between voices, I'm never going to get hired. Water only. Or green tea. My green tea is probably cold. I fucking hate cold green tea. Unless it's Arizona. And that's not really green tea. It's just like sugar syrup. With honey. Okay, here's Fink and, uh, let's look at Fink. Nice. <laughs> oh, Bart. I know. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot. This is the wildest gag in this game to me. These characters, hold on. These characters are named Bart and Fink. Okay. Bart and Fink. Bart and Fink. I, anybody get it? Because this is like, how the fuck? Why did they put this in the game? And this movie had just come out. So, their names are Bart and Fink. Bart and Fink. Bart and Fink. And a movie came out in 1991. Their names are Barton Think. What the hell? Of all, like... Wow. I forgot about it even. Anyway, I can't, like... That's not... I, I, I bet I'm not reading into that. I bet that's intentional. Their names are fucking Barton Fink. Barton Fink. Yo, Kid Cosma, thanks for the lurk. Let's shout out Kid Cosma, and then we'll get Barton Fink off the screen while we talk to Barton Fink. Just chatting. Ooh. What are you just chatting about? I'm curious. I have to, I have to check that VOD. Let's go talk to Barton Fink. I've never seen that movie, actually. <laughs> that's the that's the punchline of that. No, okay. Their names are... Look. Their names are Bart and Fink. Barton Fink. Barton Fink. And this game came out, just to make sure, just to make sure my timelines are right. Monkey Island 2 came out in 1991. Except December 1991. And the movie Barton Fink, which is a, a Coen Brothers movie. How have I never seen Barton Fink? Um, yes, Bart, Barton Fink. Barton Fink came out um, May 1991 at Cannes and August 1991. But games had a much tighter development timeline at that time. So I'm insisting that this at the time was a very timely reference to the hot, sexy, award-winning film Barton Fink. Someone asked Dave Grossman. I'm about to ask Dave Grossman on Twitter. I'm about to tweet. Hold on. I'm actually about to do this. So, like, hold on. Because uh, I'm about to really do it for real. Let me put on the browser so that you can see that I'm for real here. At Grumpy Gamer. At Dave Grossman. Were Bart and, and Fink in Monkey Island 2 named after... The Cohen Brothers. When did when did Barton was Barton think their first movie? Hold on, I gotta do research. I'm tweeting in real time. I've never done a, a tweet on a stream before. 
the Coen brothers. Was that their first movie? I don't want to be wrong. No, it wasn't. So I'm just going to say the Coen brothers film. The Coen brothers. Let's make this bigger so you can see it. The Coen brothers film. I'm going to attach. Nope. Hold on. Attach the image from the most riveting thing I've ever done on stream. Send a fucking tweet. But there we go. Also, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> We're Bart and Fink in Monkey Island 2, named after the Coen Brothers film. There we go. Hopefully we find out. Hopefully I didn't reveal anything there. I, I don't think I did. <laughs> Back to video games. Tweeting time is over. Video game time has just begun. So we'll find out for real. I'll, um, I'll update later on if we find out. But let's talk to Barton Fink. Oh, my DMs were open. That's okay. It's not really anything. It's just like we shared a tweet with each other. I'll check the VOD later, and if I need to cut anything out, I will. I ever tell you about the time I kicked LeChuck's butt? Yeah, and then like trending topics and stuff. Nothing important. Oops. No, not my... <laughs> Streamception. Oh, I should actually save. Just because I should save. Yeah, see, last time I was 7% done, now I'm 4% done. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left? I don't know why that reminds you. Okay, let's talk to them now. He's back. Uh, <laughs> why don't I just bore them again? No. Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh no, not this story again. How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land, but it just didn't feel right. What's this about an embargo? The Largo Embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including Dread. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. You can't squeeze blood from a stone. Whew. Any I, any I. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I'm gonna try to go to bed later and not know what my own voice sounds like. Any idea where I can find a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island, and there you'll meet a man named Captain Dread. Yikes! Sounds intimidating. Not really. Once you get to know him. Of course, he can't take you anywhere until Largo sails, lifts his sailing embargo. Any marshmallows left? Marshmallows? We don't have any marshmallows. What's that white puffy thing on the end of your stick? It's the stuffing for under my eye patch. We're just sterilizing it. We're pirates, Guybrush, not Girl Scouts. There are a lot of contemporary references in this game. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Well, I'll see you, Salty Do- <coughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it was coming. H2O. Oh my god. Let's talk a little more to Barton Fink. We don't have any marshmallows. I ever tell you about the time I kicked LeChuck's butt? Look, Guybrush, 
Besides the fact that we'd all rather die than hear that story again. There's another reason you shouldn't go spreading that story around. Largo Legrand is back on Scab. He used to be LeChuck's right-hand man. You don't want to get Largo on your bad side. Okay, let's let them do stuff for a minute. Know any piratey songs? Sure. That's what his voice sounds like? Here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Okay, let's Sing hear some music. About Scab Island. Oh, all right. Hey, well, I wasn't I'm too far off. A pirate on Scab. Let us scab on a pirate. And if you listen to me gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly. The weather's not the best. <laughs> the lodging's too expensive and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or police force. Hell yeah. No tale in which to Okay, I'll try one next time. Beautiful. I'll try one next time. I'll try one. Ready? Ready? Uh, hold on. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. Again. Okay. He's back. Do you guys know any more piratey songs? <clears throat> okay. Here's one about a pirate, his parrot, and a tragic day at sea. You're not gonna sing something about Luke Skywalker that got cut off the screen, are ya? You know, that one always makes me cry. Sorry, Bart. Oh, I should've... What's... I'm Bart Simpson, who the hell are you? I can't do a fucking Bart Simpson. <laughs> Don't anybody ever... That's the one and only time you'll hear Marsh attempt a fucking Bart Simpson impression. Bart Simpson. All right. Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Let me try one. Oh, a hundred bottles of beer on the wall, a hundred bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer on the, who wants to do this? 99 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. 98 bottles of beer on the wall. 98 bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> Let's go to four. Four! Four bottles of beer on the wall. Four bottles of, of beer on the wall. Four bottles of beer. I uh, take one down, pass it around. Three bottles of beer on the wall. Three bottles of beer on the wall. Three bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Two bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, two bottles of beer on the wall. Two bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. 508. 508 bottles of beer on the wall. Let's not do that. Okay, that's enough. Oh, I wasn't done. Oh, sub some 94. What's up, Summer? Excuse me, you playing some ukulele tonight? Oh, I mean, it's Talk Like a Pirate Day. Are, are you playing some ukulele tonight? Banjo-Kazooie had a pirate. I don't think ukulele does, though. I'm doing well. I'm doing pirate voices. We're singing pirate songs. We're playing Monkey Island. Yes, sir. <laughs> Perfect. See, I was saying, if chat be not chatting with their pirate voices, you're going to be keel hauled. I shouldn't do the, because there are already pirate characters I have to do the pirate voice for. It's very scratchy on the throat, you know. Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Oh, I wish I could parlay some French with Governor Marley. I'd say to her, voulez-vous. Okay, that's enough. No songs about Governor Marley. Er, looks like Guybrush is still carrying a torch for the governor. Too bad he can't even talk to her in English. Oh, thank you, Summer. So sweet. I appreciate it. Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Sorry, Mr. Sensitive. The only other songs I know are dirty ones about Governor Marley. Me too. <laughs> Shit. Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Sorry, Mr. Sensitive. Damn, that's rude as hell. I'm Bart Simpson, who the hell are you? Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. All right, enough of these two, Bart and Fink. Let's look at the sign. Who is, there was Captain Blubber. 
Oh, and there's also Jolly. Jolly wasn't really a pirate, though. Steaming weenies. 20 feet. Ooh. Am I get our weenies steamed? Uh, let's look at the love shack is a little old place where we can get together love shack baby a love shack baby looks closed hmm this door appears to be locked nice Okay, well, we need a key. We've got a piece of eight, a shovel, a piece of paper that's blank, and a bucket. So, let's get the hell out of here. Anybody out there play, uh, Summer, have you ever played any like point and click games? Games where you do, where you control them primarily through pointing and or click. Oh, I forgot to pick up this stick. Nice stick. Now we've got a stick. Nice. Okay, now we have five items. We are at the beach. Yes, Pandora, you call them. I mean, they basically are cartoon games. This is what the map looks like in the remake. Again, I kind of just like the old version better. The, um, the, the sequel to Monkey Island, to the original sequel to Monkey Island 2, is um, it's legitimately a cartoon. Like, it was, um, you know, animated. Oh my god, Summer! Freddy Fish absolutely counts! Um, the, the director of this game, Ron Gilbert... Went on to found Humongous Entertainment, and he, like, was the head of the company that made Freddy Fish. And also, one of the programmers, programmers on this game, Tammy Borowick, it was the director of the first Freddy Fish game. So there's a direct connection between this game and Freddy Fish. And Freddy Fish only came out three years later. So they went from this, these kind of graphics. They went from graphics, it was a different company, but, like, they went from graphics that look like this to the cartoon graphics of Freddy Fish in um, four years time. No, three years time. Also, they're... Oh, I want to be able to find it. Because Freddy Fish was originally going to be a DOS game, and I'm pretty sure I have pictures of it. Did I lose them? No. No. They were on my old computer. No, no, no. Here we go. Here we go. So... Summer, check this out. You, I bet I've never, I bet you've never seen this. Check this out. So originally, Freddy Fish was gonna be a DOS game, and it was gonna be, um, it was gonna be pixel art, and they had a bunch of stuff designed for it already. So this, it was gonna look like this, and that was gonna be Freddy, and that was, the, the purple one was gonna be Luther. And in six months, they redid the entire art style to look like the final game. What else we got? Let's see. I've got some more screenshots of it on my computer. Yeah, this was what Eddie the Eel looked like. Oh, Luther's different here. Luther's like a, a yellow looking one. I wonder if I've got a screenshot of what Eddie looks like in the final game, just to, like, compare. This is what Grandma Grouper looked like. This is what the sharks looked like. The boss. Those kind of look the same in the final game. Uh, what else? There's the, this is what the King Crab looked like. They had made a lot of the game. And then, um, you know, upended the whole thing. I think that's all the screenshots I have. And then, of course, the, the final game. Here, let me go back to Grandma Grouper. So this is what Grandma Grouper and Freddy Fish and everything looked like in the pre-release. And then let me compare it. Actually, I'll put a I'll put a second picture up. So this is what they originally looked like. Here's me. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add a second picture.
And this is what Grandma Grouper looked like in the final game. Can you see the difference? Whoops. And they did that in six months. Summer, I don't know if you know this, but I actually streamed all five Freddy Fish games. And if you ever want to catch up with, if you ever want to watch those, um, that's on YouTube. That's on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay, I did tell you. But yeah, that's um I've got a lot of knowledge in my brain about Freddy Fish. So yeah, the the some of the people who worked at Lucas um Lucas Arts on Monkey Island, uh the director Ron Gilbert, the producer Shelley Day, the programmer Tammy Borowick, the programmer Brett Barrett, they all left Lucas Arts, went to Humongous Entertainment, and worked on, among other things, Freddy Fish. So there you go. M hashtag Marsh Facts. That's, those are your obligatory marsh facts for the night. Let's go back to video games. Sorry, my mic was being weird. Okay, now we're back. I love the artwork of this game, though. Like, it looks so... It looks like a painting. Like, even though it's it's pixel art on an old computer, to me, it looks like a painting. Oops, and I love that. Okay, let's look at... My swamp! International House of Mojo. Oh yeah, we need a voodoo doll. I forgot about that. Multiple people talked about voodoo dolls. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Also, there's bats flying around. It doesn't look like we can... Oh, can we interact with those bats? No. Okay. Can we look at the swamp? Look at swamp. Looks murky. Let's use that coffin. There we go. Row, row, row your boat gently in the swamp. Coffinly, 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 coffinly. We are in the swamp. <laughs> Ooh, look at the colors. Like, look at this. So the, I want to check the remaster. But like, look at how the colors, it goes from like, it goes from like the night sky blue. I want to just like, yeah, it goes from this like blue and green, and then you go into the gray, and there's a gray in the middle, and then you go through the gray and get to this glowing green. I love that so much. And then this cool like skull shack. The skull shack is a creepy old place where we can do some voodoo. Creep shack, baby. Creep shack, baby. Anyway, enough Love Shack jokes. I'm not really a joke, it's just a reference. Yes! Let's look at these things. They're unlabeled. Ash to life, trademark. The uncremating cream. Wart remover. Bat wax. Yeah, something's going on with my mic. Hold on, folks. Beep, 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 doo, ba, deep, beep. Bump, 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 bump. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I hope it's the cable and not my mic. You didn't hear that. It's, um, the, the cable and or the mic are on their last legs. And I bought a new cable the other night and I went on stream with it and it was even worse. So let's all pray for Marsh's mic that it doesn't die. Uh, cat dewormer. Skink toes. I don't even know what that is. Oh, de mojo. The mystical aroma of voodoo captured in a delightful potpourri. Well, that seems like the one we want, isn't it? Okay, let's pick that one up. Um, eau de mojo. No thanks. I don't need it. Voodoo's not known for its good smells. 
Oh, I don't like that implication. They're unlabeled. What else? These all unlabeled? They're unlabeled. Yep, okay. Bat wax. Fruit cocktail in heavy syrup. Golden tongue, trademark. The five day treatment plan that helps you talk to women. That might actually help Guybrush. Tender touch pirate powder, trademark. Prevents stump chafing and eye patch rash. Oh, we needed to go get somebody's peg leg polished. It looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. Okay. Can we pick up the golden tongue? No thanks, I don't need it. I don't have that problem anymore. <laughs> okay. Spider lungs. Are there jokes for all these? No thanks, I don't need it. I don't have an eye patch or any missing limbs. Oh, whoops, I meant... No thanks, I don't need it. I, I feel bad for the spiders. No thanks, I don't need it. No thanks, I don't need it. Okay, let's only read the punchlines here. I don't even want to know what it's used for. No thanks, I don't need it. How about Ash to Life? Hey, that's just a display model. Blah, 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 blah. It's been a long... Oh, it's the voodoo lady. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Do I know you from somewhere? Uh, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with Lichuk. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh yeah, now I remember. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight, although Largo took most of them. About that jar I was looking at. That's one of my most powerful potions. Brings the dead back to life. I could do lots of cool stuff with that. Guybrush. There are some complications. It only works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. Plus, you need to bring me a sample of the subject's ashes before I can mix you up a batch. Boy, voodoo's complicated. Rules are rules. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Okay, just making sure my mic is, uh, is up. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. But LeChuck's history, I got rid of him myself. True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. Is this offensive? But I need to, to, to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person and no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe. To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take this shopping list. <gasps> it's got a list! So all most of the humongous entertainment games involve you get doing stuff off a list. So it seems like Ron Gilbert was like, hey, do you know how you do game design? Give players a list. Thanks. Now go. Hey, I wanted to talk some more, though. What do you mean, go? Back again, Mr. Threepwood? I like to have my fortune read. <laughs> I see a hard road for you, Guybrush. Things didn't get easy for you when you defeated Lechuckna, did they? People only wanted more. 
You had to keep proving yourself over and over. The pressure kept mounting until you lost it all. Your fame, your fortune, the one you love. Okay, that's enough. Ah, well, that's enough food for me. Bye. So be it. I like this music. I said that before, but I do like it. Let's look at the skull. Display model. Can we pick it up? It appears to be bolted to the table. It appears to be yo-yo string. I'll just take a little. I think it's yo-yo string. Nice, we got yo-yo string for a yo-yo. Pirates love yo-yos, don't they? Let's go. Get down. Bart zip. Mm. My bad, I thought we were rowing over here. Row, row, row your boat gently through the swamp. What rhymes with swamp? Cromp? What rhymes with swamp? Stomp? Oh, stomp. Mm, too late. Next time. Next time. So, what's our shopping list say? Great recipes from the International House of Mojo. Page 139. Oh, the character's name is Aunt Helen. Thread, head, clothes, hair, blood, and a dead relative. Easy, easy stuff. So let's go back to the town because the carpenter in the town has, is it the carpenter? Yeah. Let's talk to you. I need a leg polished, buddy. Ahem. Yeah? Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Now we have wood polish. If only I could use this stuff on my lines. What does that mean? Use wood polish on peg leg. I don't want to polish that. There's also a thing going on with my headphones. There's just all kinds of kinds of equipment stuff going on here in pirate land. Marsh is a pirate and he's on the lamb from See? <laughs> Shenanigans are a foot or a leg, really. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, give wood polish to the pirates. <clears throat> this is an easy one. I think he wanted me to polish it for him. Yikes. <laughs> uh, thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Hey, we got some pieces eight out of that. Nice job for us. We're doing all right out here. So we got money and we got to keep the wood polish. Good for us. Let's save. Just in case, you know. Where are we now? 7%. About the same as last time. We played this game two months ago. Can you blame me for forgetting? It might be my preamp, honestly. <laughs> this preamp's also pretty old. All my stuff's falling apart. Is what it is. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the swamp. Oh, we just went to the swamp. The beach, the swamp, wood tick. The pen let's go to the cemetery. I don't want to be buried in a pet cemetery. I don't want to live my life again. I understand it. I'm also falling apart. Ugh. Yeah, falling apart. Dance, dance. We're falling apart to have time. Dance, dance. These are the lives we love to lead. Dance, this is the... Don't, don't get offended by my Fallout Boy impression the best I can do. 
Warning, quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. You ever hang out in graveyards? Anybody out there ever hang out in graveyards? The rickets, no trespassing. Stan's cozy crits. <laughs> a place to spend eternity, not a fortune. Stan was the seedy businessman from the first game. The quagmires, giggity, no trespassing. The Grouts, no trespassing. Why is there an upside down anchor? Walk to graves, walk to graves. Yeah. Oh, I remember, we, I remember doing this part. No man commanded Jean Louise, not on land and not on water. Jean did whatever he did please until he kissed the gunner's daughter. There once was a girl named Carrie, who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't wed. She didn't get wed. Ugh, fuck. There once was a girl named Carrie, who thought that she sh soon should marry. This one's hard. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed. She got buried. Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or on land. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he's bred. Finally, we can dig that, daddy. This is creepy feeling. Watch this. <laughs> We're digging up a grave. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, and our pants fell. I'd, I'd swear on my grandfather's grave. Something weird is going on. That's right. Can anyone guess the voice I've given a Largo Legrand? I've settled on it. And it's another steal from the greats. Dear Largo, crapfully yours. Gross. Nice. So we've got one of the four things we need. Look at Tombstone. Look at Tombstone, Michael. The grave of the unknown pirate. The grave of the unknown cabin boy. The grave of the unknown drunk guy we found face down in his own vomit on the beach. Were these games made in California? These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. How privileged? This one says no trespassing. Is there one where we are allowed to trespass? It looks like it's been sealed shut. That sounds about right. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. It looks like it's been sealed shut. It looks like, you guessed it, it's been sealed shut. It looks like you'll never believe it. But then again, why would I want to go in there? It's fair enough, Guybrush, but you know, your commentary is not necessary. Okay, well, we got one of the four things we need. Let's go to the Peninsula. We need his clothes, his boots, and his motorcycle. No, we need his clothes. Um... His, his blood and one other thing. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. There we go. Something of the body, that's the fluid. Something of the thread, oh, his hair, right. Clothes, hair, and blood. Normal stuff. Let's walk to the house, look at the houseboat. I love a house with that nautical look. Uh, let's go in. It doesn't seem to open. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't seem to open. Let's 
Oh. Guess what kind of voice I'm gonna give this guy? Here's a hint, not an offensive one. Not even gonna try, not even gonna think about it. Here's Captain Dread. Are you Captain Dread? Yep, I'm Captain Dread. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. Yeah, I can't charter you my ship because, well, a while ago I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that's seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he'd let me leave. Why can't I charter your ship? I just told you, man. Literally, like, just now. I lost my lucky eye that's seen the world sailing necklace. And besides, Largo has an embargo on the island. I literally just explained that to you. Ah, uh, tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, but uh, my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs, and I've kept it as a good luck charm. Gee, I think I've met your friend in the last game. Unlikely. Nice dreadlocks, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Goodbye, sir. Come again. Let's go back to the houseboat. Can we do anything but talk to him? Can we look at other stuff? Oh, uh, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. It's blank. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe we should go back to Voodoo, the Voodoo person. The, you know, V-Hop or whatever. Or International I-Hob. Hey, we're more percent complete than the last time we played this. Let's go back to the swamp. Maybe we'll get another clue. Swamp. This cloud is very conspicuously placed. Oh, no, it's just incidental. Okay, let's go. Hey, it's Rainbow Br Swamp. What are you doing in my swamp? Don't forget to click on my Hey. Ads. Click on my ads. Click on my ads. Click on my ads. Click on my ads. How you doing, ads. Rainbow Birds? Click on my ads. Click on my ads. Click on my ads. Click on my Click on my Click on my ads. Yeah, we've been so so if you watched me play um Monkey Island uh uh Monkey Island 2 last time, now we're caught up. I just got the first of four things I need for the voodoo doll. I got the uh, the bone. So now I've done everything I remember doing. <clears throat> now autopilot time is over. I'm trying to leave that alone. I honestly don't need to use the keyboard for anything, so. I'm chilling. I slept and woke up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Well, um, that might be good. If I recall correctly, Rainbow came in during a bad part of me. What's Mortuary Assistant? Is that like, um, Organ Trading Simulator? Because I like that game. Whoopsie daisies. I mean, if it's, if, if you're feeling it, it's, it's, that can be a good or bad thing depending on what your point of view is. About that voodoo doll. Wait, I didn't. It's a horror game for PC. Has anybody played, it's like, there's a game called like Space Organ Simulator Trading Simulator Stock Market. I had fun playing that, but it, I don't know that I'd ever play it again. About that voodoo doll. Have you brought me the ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Ooh, that sounds wrong. Perfect. Have you brought me any other ingredients? Uh, nope. Could you tell me what they were again? 
Just like the- Oh, we can get his clothes from the- from the dry cleaner! Okay, we gotta get his clothes from the dry cleaner. It's terrible and scary and bad, and I did not like it. I mean, it's called Mortuary Assistant, so I believe that. Um, <laughs> right when the demon was doing something when everything went dark. Oh, yikes. Rainbow once watched me play Resident Evil 7, the, um, the, like, survivor mode. Like, the, like, survive everything in one night mode in that game. That was pretty intense. I think you watched me play that. That's back when I was drinking, so I honestly don't remember. I gotta get back on, on PlayStation. That was so terrible. Oh, geez, sorry. <laughs> I tried my best. I like Resident Evil 7. Come on, Pindor. <laughs> I'm sure you, I don't know that I've ever seen you on stream, but I'm sure you look fine. Don't be hard on yourself. That's my friend you're talking about over there. Okay, let's go to the dry cleaner. We need to get his hair too. Like where did we get his hair and his blood? Oh wait, we need to get something. I know where we can get, we not just blood. We need to get one of his bodily fluids. Aha! I figured it out. Now, how do we collect this? I don't want to touch it with my hands. There isn't enough spit to put in the bucket. That doesn't seem to work. Ew, yuck, yes, nice. Boom! Use my thinker. Why do my friends know what I hate? Oh, come on. If you didn't want to watch me play Resident Evil, you could have said something. I didn't know you hated it. We had been talking about it. I'm sorry. By the way, folks, I'm going to be playing I'm going to be playing Resident Evil during October for spooky times. I'm going to be playing Resident Evil 1. Uh, the Chris. I'm going to be playing the Chris uh, side because I've played it before as Jill but I've never been able to beat it as Chris. So I want to finally be able to move on in my life to Resident Evil 2. Oh, scary James, scary James. <laughs> scary games in general, okay. Now let's talk to this guy again. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? It was stolen. Taking it bowling was a dumb thing to do. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your cl how can How can he understand me when I say that but nothing else? I dropped it in my grog and it melted. The log welted it? Eh, well, now that is a good excuse, but I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I'd like to pick up some clothes. I'll do a spooky time two-hour stream with me staring. Pandora! Boo. You play enough, uh, you play scary games, don't you? Haven't you played some, like, Resident Evil or something? Am I misremembering? I don't think I am. I lost it while being keelhauled. Your dog got mauled? What does that have to do with a claim to it? Oh, never mind. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? No, I don't have my claim ticket! You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Yeah, a long time ago when I was famous. Listen, Pandora. That wasn't that long ago. I feel like that was recent. Do you- are you saying like your streams have dropped in viewership? I'm trying to- I'm trying to hop on your streams. Check out Pandora Suki's channel. I feel like you were recently playing a Resident Evil though. Um, all right, Rainbow Bridges is challenging, so here we go. Three, two, one. I fuck, fuck! That was, that was, um, that was a mulligan, mulligan. Three, two, one, go. I'm also, I'm also staring directly into a fucking ring light. God damn it. Let's make this fair. 
We're gonna make this fair, okay? We're gonna do one more. I turned down the ring light. I realized that I was staring directly into a fucking light and like leaning in too. So we're gonna count down from three, two, one, and we're gonna start, okay? So it's gonna be like that. Three, two, one. I'm bad at this. I'm really bad at this. Never mind. I lost. What's ring light? It's what, um, it's what I'm looking at. Yeah, it's like round. So it, um, it's round. I don't know how to. It's like the whole, um, it's like a fluorescent light and it's in the shape of a ring. And then the camera's in, in the middle, right there. Oh, it has multiple bulbs? I thought it was a fluorescent tube. Shows what I fucking know. Let's go back to the game. A tube. Oops, I uh, thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Okay, so we need to get a ticket for the clothes. I kept my eyes open for all three, but I'm not on cam, so you have to- Yes, yeah, no cheating. No cheaters. Doesn't count. I wonder how one does that. We'd have to, like, be playing a game together and both of us streaming and both of us have face cam, which I know you don't. Rainbow petition! Rainbow Bridges face cam! I don't actually know how you do face cam when you stream on consoles. I know people can do it on Xbox. Because I've seen Xbox streamers use camera. Actually, um, uh, uh, Pizza Mommy streams from her Xbox and she uses face cam. Okay. So we need his hair and his clothes. You need to connect a camera to your console. Hello, it's me again. I got sidetracked by the outside. It's me, boy. I'm the PS5. I got sidetracked by the outside. Listen to me, boy. But you need a special type of camera. Boo. Usually the camera on Xbox are connect through Xbox. I'm pretty sure that Pizza Mommy's not using Connect. Probably a different USB device. Also, I forgot PlayStation has a camera. Lol. PlayStation need all kinds of proprietary shit. What messes me up is that Sony, like Bluetooth is Sony, right? Like like Sony invented Bluetooth. Am I wrong? No, Bluetooth was I'm I'm totally wrong. Bluetooth was a, a third party. It's called made actually by Intel. Um but it's so wild that like Sony supports Bluetooth, but you can't just get any Bluetooth headset and connect it to your PlayStation. You need a special PlayStation wireless headset that costs like a fucking hundred dollars. Anyway, I feel like I could set up my phone for cam, but I would have to try harder slash be smarter. I use, um, well, I use stuff on desktop, so I don't know how it would work with PlayStation. Yeah, I use a phone camera actually. Uh, this is an old iPhone. I think it's like an iPhone 10. It's weird that that's old now. Um, but yeah, it's just a surplus iPhone. I know a fun fact about the Bluetooth logo. Oh, I, the, the, the B thing? Like, what's, what's up with it? Unless you also use a PC and a capture card. Yeah, no. I have some of his spit. Don't mind, the, don't mind the caps lock, by the way. <laughs> Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I'll bring you more later. <laughs> PC streamers are spoiled, no lie. I have everything I need right here in my second monitor. I um I started streaming in 2016 on console on Xbox, but then I, I moved to PC in 2018. Streamlabs, OBS, camera, everything for free. Well, the camera stuff, camera stuff's not free. The camera software, free camera software is bad. I'm, I'm not using free camera software. Um, now, did I pay for it? The software isn't free, is what I'm going to say. <laughs> but yeah, OBS is great. Um, well, Twitch is native on PlayStation and Xbox, which is nice. Pandora. <laughs> A bind rune using the younger Futhark? It's the dude's initials. 
That is so wild. The stuff that nerds come up with. HB. Oh, that's why it looks like that. Wow. That's a cool fact. I'm going to share a, a cool fact about tech and my own life. My grandpa helped invent the first multimedia, um, uh, what do you call it? Like file type when he worked at IBM and Intel. He didn't invent it himself, but he was on the team that did it. And once I talked with him about it and he was like, yeah, it could have been really big, but the guy who was in charge of it was a moron. Like basically before like, you know, MPEG and MOV and all that stuff, they had a proprietary multimedia, uh, ex you know, file type extension. I don't know what you fucking call it, but like they developed that in house in like, I think in the eighties, maybe the nineties, I'm pretty sure it was the eighties. Cause I think my grandpa was out by then. That's so wild. My grandpa led a, a, a cool life. I love, I love that man. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> saying it to me as much as I am saying it to the stream. It's, it's, let's move on. Uh, ooh, now my paper has spit on it. It's blank and kind of soggy. So we need to find where the ticket for his clothes is. And we also need some blood. How, I don't know how we're going to get that. Oh wait, we know, no, we did the fluid. We need his hair. Okay. He's bought out the hotel. So I feel, oh, there's a rope holding the alligator. I keep working, I can't stop working. I have so many papers, I don't know. There's only one customer here, but I have so many papers. Oh. What I imagine is actually he just like sits there the whole time, just like reading his book or whatever. And then someone walks in. He's like, well, I'm, I'm so busy. I'm terribly busy. I can't even help you because of how busy I am. Okay, let's look at this rope. I missed this before. There is a little bit of pixel hunting that goes on in these games. I'm excited for Return to Monkey Island because I get the sense that Monkey Island isn't going to be so pixel hunty. Because Thimbleweed Park was kind of like, like Ron, Ron Gilbert's grown out of pixel hunting. It was very much a thing in, in the older games, but like I had a problem in Secret of Monkey Island because also this is like so slanty. Um, so anyway, look at the rope. Uh, use the rope? No. Open rope? It's securely fastened. Hmm. Pull rope? It's securely fastened. Yikes. Okay. How do we... Hmm. How do we untie this rope? Guybrush, how are you a pirate and you don't know how to do knots? Come on, dude. Use stick with rope. That doesn't seem to work. Yeah, it was worth a try. Use spit. Okay. Hmm. I feel like a sharp object would probably pick up rope. It's securely fastened. Shit. Look at rope. It's tied to the post. I get that. I would like to untie it, Guybrush. He's going to call me daddy. Yeah. What do I do? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. There's something here. This alligator wouldn't be here on this rope if I didn't have to do something with this alligator and rope. I just got to figure out what it is. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Oh, we can distract him. That's what it is. We need to distract him to get into the room. We need to distract him with the alligator to get into the room. That's my theory. Now, how the fuck... Do we get that? Can we use, try to use everything? I don't fucking know. Like, I, I literally don't know. In Fallout 4, there's a mission you need to help a flying ship and all the crew are robots. Oh, that's cool. What the fuck do I do? Anybody have any tips? Any Monkey Island pros have any tips? Because you know what we're going to start doing if we, if we get too lost, which we're not yet, but... I'm going to check everywhere for sharp objects before I do anything. 
I would say using the shovel. I tried using the shovel. He said I can't dig that, daddy. And I don't really want him to call me daddy again. Can we pick up more paper? Yes! Okay, cool. Hey, Wally. Can you help me? Hey, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. What else is there to talk about? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that one. Uh, well, see ya. Okie dokie. I need something sharp. I mean, I feel like I need something sharp. Can we use the paper with the paper? Yuck. Yuck. Oh, all it did was make the... I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to this paper. Goodbye. There's something to do with this paper, I feel. Oh, there's a window. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Pixel, speaking of pixel hunting. <gasps> yes! Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, baby! We love to find... Let's save. Definitely further than I got before. 9% complete even. So let's see, let's look at some stuff before we talk to this person. The fire's out. What, a Vicky, Vicky Swa? How do you say that? It's a cold potato and leek soup. Vic, Vicky Soyce. No, it's <laughs> Vicky. Vichy Soise. There we go. Vichy Soise. Hello, Mahogany Sims. Hey, folks, if you like The Sims or you like cool vibes, check out Mahogany Sims. Yuck. It's all cans of fruit cocktail. I'm doing good. I've um I've been making it through this game and I haven't had to use a walkthrough once. And now we're past the part that I previously played on stream. So <laughs> I'm feeling optimistic about that. All I can see is water. I want a knife. I bet this person has a knife since we're in a, a kitchen. The cook's probably gonna kick us out if we don't um Knife. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Sharp. Having played the first game, I understand adventure game logic a bit more. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. I knew we needed a knife. Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. Well, okay. I said, leave me alone. Excuse me. I can't concentrate with you talking to me. Excuse me. I said, leave me alone. Yeah, it's it's pretty much Mario. I had to do a Mario voice. The barkeep might see me. Oh, we can't even leave out. Okay. I did a Mario voice for the bartender before, but it didn't it didn't work. So. There's no glass in the window. Uh, yeah. Go in. Go. There we go. Ta-da! Oh, he falls. Uh, nobody saw that. That's okay. Nice. I love this. I literally, like, I've never done this before. I solved this puzzle all on my own. I used my brain. I said, there's the alligator. We need to set the alligator free to distract the hotel guy so that we can go into his hotel room. And we need a knife to set the alligator free so we can distract the guy to go into his hotel room. I figured that out. Me, adventure game logic. Fuck yeah, how satisfying. Use knife with rope. You ever play an adventure game? My oh, hey! How'd old pig bite get loose? I, I better go catch him. Before he catches somebody else. That guy, my my headcanon for him is that uh, he has whatever voice he wants to have. Hmm, only one guest. Can we pick this up? I can't pick that up. Can we pick up the bell? I don't want to steal his bell. Oh, Guybrush, I feel bad enough setting his alligator free. Did you thought about the sub badges? I'll be honest, Pandora. 
I kind of haven't. Um, <laughs> if you remind me on the Marsh Discord, which, by the way, folks, you can join the Marsh Discord for absolutely free. and Just click on that link and join the swamp. Um, I want to add some follower emotes, and I also do want to add those sub badges. Uh, the only thing I did, I added a couple of VIPs. Um, Lissa is now a VIP of this channel. Um, I added Rainbow Bridges is also a VIP now of this channel. Just because I, I wanted, you know, some some important folks who, who I want to recognize as important to the stream. If everybody's a VIP in my heart. But then I'd have to make them VIPPs and the whole thing would go out of whack, so. Or wait, no, not VIP. VVIP. Jeez. Oh, the stuff that comes out of your mouth, Marsh. Why? Anyway, let's go. <laughs> yeah, you send me the, the source of that, and I'll do it. Ew. This is LeChuck's room? Or not LeChuck. This is Largo's room? They look pretty old. Oh, God. Who let you into my room? I, uh, thought it was my room? Well, it ain't. Get the fuck out of here. Well, shit. That's bad. Cheese squigglies. Oh! <gasps> Cheese squigglies are from this game? Sorry for yelling. Cheese squigglies are my channel points. And they were in Putt Putt Goes to the Zoo. Or Putt Putt Saves the Zoo. They're from this game? That thing in Putt-Putt Saves the Zoo is a reference to this game? Oh my god, I'm so delighted! Cheese squigglies are my reward! Look! The, the hover room is cheese squigglies! The expensive cheese squigglies are some stuff! Aw, cheese squigglies! I can spend cheese squigglies on all the stuff I want because I'm it's my stream. But yeah, anytime you spend points on this channel, you're spending cheese squigglies. Wow. Yep, yeah, that's okay. Thanks, Marsh. Uh, let's pick that up. That's so awesome. Yes! I can't believe it. They're from this game. I always thought they were, oh my God. I, how would I have known? Hey folks, there's a monkey island too. This, this is going, when I make a TikTok, um, I'm gonna make a TikTok account called Marsh Facts and it's gonna be all my fun facts. And now one of my fun facts is gonna be, did you know that cheese squigglies and Putt Putt Saves the Zoo are a reference to monkey island too? Now you know. Follow me for more facts. Twitch.tv slash It's the Marsh. What an emote is that? Come on, bro. Pandora, I don't bro me. Can I eat these? Use cheese squigglies with my mouth. I guess not. Can I put them in the bucket? That doesn't seem to work. Can we go back to the room? Scram, kid. Oh, crap. I need to get better sound alerts for things on stream. Yeah, that takes a little work. Now. <sighs> what the hell do we do now? I went through all that work. All the fun facts. No, you gotta find fun facts. Scram, kid. Hmm. Hmm. Is that supposed to happen? I, I bet it is. I just, now I'm annoyed. Now I'm like, why'd that happen? I'm reading. Yeah, why'd he do that? Why'd he do that? 
I hope I didn't get like there's no way to like soft lock this game, is that? Oh, okay. That's kind of what I thought. It's it's okay. I just wanted to make sure. I was like, did I get locked out? No. It's it kind of makes sense to I just wanted to make sure I did just consult a walkthrough just because I'm um, in some mixture. Pandora, I'm sure you have some fun facts about you. What's the, tell us about the uh, the programming program you're in. Mortal Killer, something that I did for sound alerts was like, I just thought about, I don't know, I guess I thought about so sounds that are meaningful to me. I will be totally honest, my bits alert is lifted a little bit. I probably would have come up with this anyway, but I was inspired by Kia Pia, who is a, a big time streamer. Uh, she's incredible. Um, I was following her before she was pretty big time. And um, she has a bits alert and her bits alert is from Steven Universe and it's the bits, but I love Steven Universe. So Pandora, do you stream directly from console? 90% would be Steve Harrington. What are some like iconic Steve Harrington lines? I don't really remember much about him to be honest. I mean, he's got that hair. Okay, let's go. Okay, you stream from console, I see. Yeah, there we go. Okay. His hair. There we go. Now we can look at stuff. Nice! Messy, messy, messy. I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. It's a bit on the tattered side. Yeah, so all you had to do is leave and come back. Are the alerts better through stream elements? My alerts, where did my alerts come through? My alerts are through stream elements. Yes, I use stream elements. Um, I don't know about better, but that's what I use. <laughs> Fucking Steve. Hey, it's his hair kind of. Hey, it's uh, Pandora, you didn't like it when I called Eddie the Metallica guy, but that's what he does. He plays Metallica. Just like Steve's like the baseball bat guy. Okay, there's one other thing. We need his, um, his clothes. Fuck. Oh, maybe that's in his hotel room too. Hold on, let's go back to his hotel room. Um, Cause that's actually what I was there to get. I was not there to get his hair. It's funny that his hair is what was there. Cause I thought we were gonna get his uh, laundry ticket. You didn't know what Metallica was? Come on. You know what though? It's good that people are learning. Like, you know, I, I worked at a metal radio station, so I had to know what Metallica was. They're like the metal band, but I, I knew about Metallica in high school. But yeah, Master of Puppets. Bum, bum, bum. Why why didn't Ma why is it Master of Puppets the song that's all over the radio? Why has it gotta be Kate Bush? Like why am I not hearing eight minutes of Master of Puppets on pop radio? Why has it gotta be fucking running up that hill? I can't go that low. I was singing already an octave low. Anyway, um... If, 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 do you mean Master of Puppets or do you mean Kate Bush? Um, that right down here, folks, if we get to 300 followers, that means we're going to do a guitar stream. And I'll say right now, we're not playing any Metallica songs on it. <laughs> so don't, don't even get your hopes up. It's not going to happen. Maybe in 10 years, I'll be good enough to play a Metallica song. Probably not though. Oh, let's open the dresser. Duh, silly. It's already open. It's already open. It's empty. Oh, it's open and it's empty. Uh, the dressing screen. Can we pick up the styrofoam head? 
I don't like styrofoam. It's bad for the environment. Of course, can we pick up his leftovers? I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. Look at dresser. It's a bit on the tattered side. So, no laundry ticket? Messy, messy, messy. Can we pick up the painting? Can we push the painting? Can we pull the dresser? I can't move it. Can we push the dressing screen? I can't move it. Huh. Where do we find this laundry ticket? Ah, oh, you again. I was just leaving. Okay. Damn. Okay, we got three out of four. I want to get the laundry ticket. Anybody have any ideas? Please don't, don't walk through me. I'm asking if anybody has any organic ideas. I will ask for walkthrough when I ask for walkthrough. But now that I played the first Monkey Island, I'm kind of better at like understanding what these games want of me. Hmm. <laughs> What's that? Who's that? Stop. You violated the law. Hold on. Jeez, hold on. I got this, I got this. I know what to do. Give it a little more slack. Oh, I've heard of Obli like the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Pandora, do not dare to speak the ancient tongues to me. I was there when they were written. I know of Oblivion. I know of Morrowind. Stop. You violated the law. Oh, I only know that because of a fucking... I know that because of a fucking vine sauce meme. God damn it. Because I actually... I, I didn't like Oblivion when it came out. I had Oblivion in a... um. I had the Elder Scrolls Oblivion in a two-pack for Xbox 360 with... This is really bad. This is bad. This is bad news bears. Hold on, folks. One more time. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh jeez. We love we love technical stuff when we're streaming. We all love live producing streams. It's everybody's favorite thing on a stream. I need a new mic cable. Does anyone want to buy me one for my birthday? Anyone want to buy me the world's highest quality XLR cable for my birthday? <laughs> um I only know stop you violated the law. Um cuz of cuz of Vine Sauce cuz of Vinny from Vine Sauce. I don't want a cheap mic, Pandora. <laughs> no offense to people who have cheap equipment. It's just like this microphone was not cheap. This Microsoft, this microphone I got when I graduated college, which was about ten years ago. Um, no, eight years ago. It wasn't ten years ago. Um, let me not make myself too old. But it was it was long ago, and I've had this mic. This mic's been well loved. It's been, and it might be the cable. It might be. It might very well be the cable, but it might also be the mic. And I might just need to, like, invest in a new microphone. I hope not, but we'll see. All right, let's go give some hair. Have you brought me any more ingredients? I have his toupee. Hmm. Not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Do you have the final ingredient? I'll bring it later. <laughs> now go! Okay, we have to get 
the laundry ticket. And I'm trying to think, how do we get the laundry ticket from Largo? So do you like Oblivion, Pandora? Do you like Oblivion more than Skyrim? Like, would it be worth me really earnestly trying to play Oblivion? Because I, I like Morrowind and I like Skyrim, but Oblivion just like never clicked with me. Oh, what I was saying is I had it in a two pack on Xbox and I had it with um, Bioshock and I fucking loved Bioshock. Bioshock's an incredible game. And then I just like didn't, didn't give a lot of love to Oblivion. I feel like cheese squigglies might be important for us. <gasps> the mouse, the mouse loves cheese. The mouse loves cheese. The mouse loves cheese. Oh, fuck yeah. Check this out. Use cheese squigglies with box. The box is closed. Open box. Use cheese squigglies with box. Now open box. Hey, buddy. You want to eat this? You wanna, you, you wanna have some cheese squigglies? What the fuck? Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. That doesn't seem to work. Huh. Hmm, come on. Come on, mouse, come on. Come on, get in the box. You fucking what? Get in the box! I got you fucking cheese! I solved the puzzle, now get in the box! Huh, use string with... Use string with box? You can't be serious. Use stick with box. Okay, the, okay, okay. Now, we're creating a trap. Now use string with stick. Yes, 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 yes. You string. Yes! We trapped the rat. We trapped that motherfucking rat. <laughs> Both are good in my opinion. In some points, like Questline and Magic System Oblivion is a winner. Yeah, interesting. The thing about Oblivion was that I didn't love the combat. But... Um... I would, I could earnestly try Oblivion again and see if I like it. Let's pick up this box now. It won't fit in my pocket. Huh, what do we do about this mouse? Yo. Yoo-hoo. Hey, guys. Hey. Yoo-hoo. Hey. Oblivion have way more memes. I don't know, Skyrim had a lot of memes too. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. These guys won't wake up. Hey guys. You who? Now, what do I do with the mouse? If I open it, the mouse will run away, right? And we don't want that. A pickup. We got the mouse. We got the mouse. Cute little fella. Now, what do we do with this mouse? Is really the next question. We got the mouse. And somehow it's tied to the laundry. 13% because we got the mouse. Uh, give mouse to... Oh, it's a rat. Sorry, not a mouse. I think they'd be mad at me for trapping their rat. What would I... Where would I do with that? Uh, oh, hey. Here's my ticket. What would I do with that? What would I do with that? What would I do with that? Okay, what's our rat doing? What that rat do? 
Hmm. Do we put it in the soup? Ugh. Hmm. The question is, what do we do with the rat? Use rat on leftovers. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. What do we do with this rat now that we captured it? Knowing is half the battle. I got pumpkin covered espresso beans today. I fucking love these. Okay. Use rat with soup. Oh my God. I didn't know if that would work. Well, now the rat's in the soup. Now what? Vicky Swa rat soup. Yuck! There's a rat swimming in it! Can we pick it up? Can we pick up the soup? I've never been much for rodent seasonings. Waiter! There's a rat in my soup. Oh, Kid Cosma. Excuse me. I'm a trying to work. You know what? Let's do it with the music. Okay. Yo ho, yo ho, a pie rat's life for me. This one's for you, Kid Cosma. Here, let me full screen this. You can, this one's for Kid Cosma. It's Kid Cosma, thank you for redeeming those points. I appreciate it. I might make that a. I might change that to a bit redeem soon. There you go. You're welcome. Hope it was everything you dreamed of. Hope it was. Hope your hopes and dreams came true. Hope you enjoyed that. Now, what do I do about this soup? Can we talk to the soup? We can't talk to the soup. Can we push the soup? I can't move it. Excuse me. I'm trying to work. Hmm. Do we stir the soup? Vicky, Vicky soir avec rat. Ooh, how about snot? It's too soggy. Hmm, wood polish? Ooh, we can put it in the in the bucket. I hate Vicky Swa. Hmm. I can't dig that. Daddy. What do we do? Well, I appreciate you being here. We're probably gonna raid out soon, but I appreciate you being here. Everybody check out Kid Cosmos channel. Have a good rest of your night. I appreciate you being here. I don't know. Use Vicky Swa soup with cook? That doesn't seem to work. I don't know. What do we do? Hmm. Maybe we should go talk to the bartender? Excuse me. Yo, boy. Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? How oh, gosh. We only saw a cool man chunk soaps here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vicky Swash. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vicky Swash, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of dimension resume fucking book are you using? <laughs> You're fucking fired! But, sir! Ow! Get out of my sight! 
This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever fucking seen in my fucking life. Look at all my fucking hair. And what is this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Doug, hey, will you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of fun, pop food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah, are you fucking interested or not, kid? I don't know. How much does it pay? For- <gasps> Fucking potheads. Fucking potheads. They're everywhere. They're fucking everywhere. 420 pieces of eight a week. You try to tell me that's a coincidence. You just try. You just try to tell me. <laughs> sure, I'll give it a shot. Great, the job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. That's 420 pieces of eight, you fucking degenerate. Now go strap on an apron and get to work. Do we literally have 420 pieces of eight? Now we have 421. We got fucking 420 pieces of eight. I fucking love it. You know, when you work in a kitchen, you know, when you work in a kitchen all day, you gotta, you gotta find ways to burn off the tension. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> burn off the tension. <laughs> Okay. Now, walk up to Vicky Swa Avec Rat Hairs. Can we pick this up now? I've never been much for rodent seasonings. I hate Vicky Schwash. Uh, what's the point of us becoming the cook then? It hasn't really changed much. Can we use the stove? I'm no cook. Then what are we in here for? I hate fruit cocktail. Was it just to make the chef unemployed? Like, is the chef gonna like go run off now and be be unemployed elsewhere? Well, okay. I'm really trying to figure out how we get that laundry tag. 14%. Hmm. I can't move it. What do we do? The barkeep would be mad if I left work early. What the fuck? So now what happens if, like, <laughs> can we not go to the bar now? You're supposed to be cooking. I, uh, had to buy some eggs. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. Oh, man. Hey, hired help only. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Oh, we got fired. Uh. We got hired and we got fired. Dems the brakes. You know? What are you what are you gonna fucking do? Um if we got fired, does that mean he brings the chef back? No. There has to be a reason we got the chef fired. I'm kind of missing what it is. Help wanted. One week salary in advance. Oh, we got paid, right. We got money.
We get to keep our 420 bits, though. Hey, buddy. Ahem. Yeah? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. I want this peg leg. That's about the best peg leg I've ever seen. Thanks, I made it myself. Oh, I want this hammer. Can I get this hammer? It says Woody. That's m That's me. Hey, don't touch that. It's not a toy. Hello, video er I can't Hello, Final Fantasy Fangirl 21. How's Final Fantasy 15 treating you? It's did you know it's talk like a pirate day? Comfortable looking chair. It's not for sale. Hmm, there's nails. Pounds and pounds of nails. Come on, I need all of them. Dude, really? How would I give you a lot of money? No thanks. Fuck, really? I gave up on doing which secret dungeon? Um I don't really know what we do here. There's something tied to getting the chef fired. Hello. Goodbye. The You're talking about Pityos? Oh, yeah, that's hard, but it's manageable. I'm... I don't know what we do here. I'm, I'm a little lost. Not gonna lie. Because we did... I figured out the thing with the rat. Because rats like cheese. So now what? And we got money. There's some kind of barrier that requires us to have money. And I don't know quite what it is. Maybe I'll go to a different location. Yeah. We don't want to plant money in his room. Oh, I forgot your file corrupted. Yeah, that's fair enough. But it is a fun dungeon. I was talking about it, I don't know, the other day. I was doing something with some game, and I was like, this reminds me of Pity Oz Ruins. Maybe it was when I was playing um, Fall Guys or something. It might have been Saturday. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out. It's probably not the cemetery. I don't even remember what's over here. Oh, there's that person. That's, um... We probably can't even do anything with this person, but let's see. Oh yeah, it's the necklace thing. That's not really, I mean, let's go check. Let's go check if money changes anything, but I don't think so. It's me again. So uh, what can I do for you this time, man? Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man. I lost my lucky eye that's seen the world sailing necklace. Besides, Largo has an embargo on the island. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Goodbye. Come again. I'm very excited for the Final Fantasy 16 trailer, for sure. That'd be a great birthday present if it comes out on my birthday. Or before my birthday. I'm getting a little testy here. Because I'm trying to figure out, we need to get the clothes of Largo. And his clothes are at the cleaners. And we need a ticket for the cleaners. And like, it doesn't seem... No, there's a place, okay. There's a place we haven't been yet on the beach. Yeah, there's a place we haven't been on the beach. So maybe, I've been figuring out puzzles on my own, no walkthrough. Um, but I'm trying to think of what the solution might possibly be. It's not the swamp. 
It doesn't seem to be anything in the town. Unless there's a location on the map that I haven't gone to yet. Hey guys, do you want free money? Maybe? He's back. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. Hmm, I don't know where to go. This sign says, steaming weenies, 20 feet. I would love some weenies to, to be steamed. The door appears to be locked. The door appears to be locked. Huh. In my country, people always get confused about the difference between beach and bitch. I feel that. Yeah, I used to know people who would say, like, son of a beach and stuff. I really don't know what to do here. Do I give these strange men money? No. Hmm. I actually don't know. And yeah, that's a little worrisome. Oh, I never would have figured that out. I don't know if that's if that's relevant to anything right now, but I I did just look at a um I did just look at a walkthrough to give me a hint. And apparently we needed to do this. And this is something I did not think of. Ah, a bucket of mud. And it's mine. All mine. Now what could mud possibly help us with? Let's stop and think, everybody. What could mud help us with? Oh, you know what? I I wouldn't have thought of this. I'm walk through in it. I would not have thought of this. This is this is pretty goofy. So what you have to do here to get the clothes? I made an incorrect assumption. My assumption was that Largo's clothes were already at the cleaners. So that was my own I made a false assumption. Because he had no clothes in his dresser. So I assumed, but he's a pirate, so he only has one set of clothes. So what we have to do, in actuality, it's not about getting a laundry ticket. That was where my confusion was. I was thinking the wrong thing. What we need to do is take this bucket of mud and do this with it. It doesn't seem to stay closed. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. Urgh. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. There we go. Now we did it. I only used a so made 15% of the game all natural before we ever had to use a walkthrough. So that's one. That's one strike. And the old game had like this game doesn't have a hint system. The newer game, the Return to Monkey Island, has a hint system, so if you get stuck, you can just get a little hint to help you out. So off we go. Now, the the rest of it's all filled in because we already know what we need to do. You're making me mad, Marty. That's my name, don't wear it out. Look, I want it free and I want it tonight. Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry. Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three years. I said I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell him I'll be back to pick it up. 
or else. I guess he had a change of clothes after all. It would have been funnier if he was naked. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Actually, nothing. I don't care about clean clothes. I'm a pirate. No, I don't have wheat loaves. I didn't think you would. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? Damn it, back at square one. Uh, Largo has the claim ticket. What do we do? Largo now has the claim ticket. So now we have to get the claim ticket off Largo. That was the step I missed. I assumed Largo's laundry was already at the cleaners. Now we need to get the laundry ticket from Largo. How do we do that? I mean, we are a pirate. Stealing is kind of our thing. Maybe he just left it in his room. Wouldn't that be nice? It's a bit on the tattered side. It's already open. I want to get in the drawer. I can't pick that up. It's empty. Damn it. Huh. Let's walk behind the dressing screen. And now he can't find us. So let's see what happens when he comes back to the room and he can't find us. Let's see what happens. No. Guy brush. Let's see. He is going to come back, isn't he? He's come back every other time. Hmm. Maybe he's busy? Maybe this is not the solution to the puzzle? Get out! I was just leaving. Oh, that's not fair. I was hiding. Leave me alone! Huh. I really want to solve this tonight. We have money. We have wood polish. We'll throw wood polish. What do we do? What if... No, we need to like... We need to have a laundry ticket. So... What if I just give him... Now what if I give him these pieces of paper? What would I do with that? What would I do with that? What would I do with that? Hmm, what if we forge a laundry ticket? Hmm. Um, what are you playing, Pandora? Hmm. No thanks. I have all the paper I need. Wally, can you forge something for me? Okay, I'm going to call him a sissy. I wonder if that unlocks anything. Oh, Fallout 4. I hope you're enjoying it. Well, hey, hey, that's my job. <laughs> ha! Only sissies use maps. Homophobia on. <laughs> maps are very, very important. Not to me. I don't travel. That's even better. With a good map, you can see the whole world without leaving your living room. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no. Be my guest. Hmm. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Would you mind if I just looked around? Mm, be my guest. Let's see. 
I really want that laundry ticket. Can't pick up this leg. Hmm. We're back at square one. I kind of like advanced. I honestly like had advanced my my logic. hunting that's what it is yeah I looked I because I did it once I did it once I did it once and I, I I checked so like I know I was like oh I'm the pixel hunting master I figured out pixel hunting this pixel hunting is like it's actually a design thing in old adventure games that I disagree with and I'm glad that humongous entertainment games don't use it because they're for kids but like it's really obnoxious that like look because I came back to the room, and I was like, let's see if anything changed. Wait a minute. That's what it is. That's why. Now, see, why would I have... <sighs> nice. I should have I should have maybe... Next time... <laughs> I'm getting tired. It's basically just that I'm getting... Whatever. Listen, I've been playing for three hours. I'm gonna take a couple shortcuts, okay? But like, it wasn't even pixel hunting. It was like, maybe I should have thought to close the door again. Cause, cause putting the, the bucket on there, I would have known to close the door. But like, whatever, he put it on the back of the door. Thank you for the lurk, mortal killer. I'm tired of this quest line, okay? I've been trying to find the fucking laundry ticket all day. So here we go. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. Ooh, I saw it a while ago. Now, where was it? <laughs> the parrot? Ah, here it comes. Nice bra. Uh, what? What? Nice April Fresh trademark scent. I don't think this is right. But let's go find out. <laughs> if it is right, good for Largo, you know? He doesn't want to keep his tits out. He wants to, you know, have them cupped up. Good for him. All right. Let's find out if this is Largo's bra. I wonder if there's like a trade quest, like we have to trade. Who would we even trade this bra with? After I played Fallout 4, I wanted to visit Boston so bad so you could see it before. <laughs> Boston's a nice place to visit. I visited Boston a couple times. It's very clean, it's a clean city. Living in New York, I was like, you know, they could invest a lot more money into keeping this city clean. All right, ma'am. Have you brought me the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. Okay, Largo's bra confirmed. Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. Is this offensive? And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and healings, including monosodium glutamate. Ooh, MSG. Sure. MSG adds flavor. That's a heaping helping of MSG. This ought to be good. 
two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Largo, Largo, yeah! Oh, fuck yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, voodoo lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. All right. And Fallout 4 Boston is a mess. That seems about right. So let's go. Let's go enact our revenge on Largo, I think. So I think in fairness, like, I did look a couple times, but really the only thing I, in full, I used the walkthrough on was, like, to find out where to get the laundry ticket. I knew what to do. I knew what I had to do it and what I had to do it for. I just didn't figure out the right order. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. So we'll go back to Wood Tick, we'll save, and then I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get Largo. Sixteen percent? Eighteen percent! Ooh! Okay, let's do it. Hey, what are you doing in here? Get out of my room and stay out. Hmm. I think Largo's out of voodoo range. What the crap? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. He said he'd be back for his clothes. Hmm. But if we go in the room, he's gonna be like, what the crap are you doing here? There we go. Yo! Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad. What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. Arr, what are, how are you doing that? Largo Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! <laughs> I already spent all your money. Oh, well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and- Arr! Ah! Arr! That'll teach you to mess with the Slayer of the Ghost Pirate, LeChuck! What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Did she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring him back to life! Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again! Uh, whoops. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces! Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten. Partially decomposed. Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. 
He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Undoubtedly. <laughs> Can you just kill me now and get it over with? You must not try to lose hope, Guybrush. There is a way out. What is it? You're doing it right now? Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Blah, 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 blah. Where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're done through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. And we are... Big whoop. Unclaimed bonanza or myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Rapscallion the cook, young Lindy the cabin boy, Mr. Rogers the first mate, and Captain, good heavens, Captain Marley. I wonder if there's any relation. They buried their treasure along with plenty of, uh-oh, booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Rapscallion later opened the steam and weenie hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. I'd like to live on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his most recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leading at the time. Okay, well that's a lot of information for us to find. But for now we're going to save the game which we have at 20%. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see what's going on tonight. What's going on tonight? Oh, Pizza Mommy's playing Minecraft. I think that's pretty easy. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'm going to shout out some people because honestly, there's multiple people I want to support tonight. So just check out all these channels. Check out Pizza Mommy 305. Check out Sub Sum 94. But what we're going to do tonight is we're actually going to say hi to our friend Simulation Cat. So I want to thank everybody. Oh, Cat's playing. Is Cat playing Putt Putt? Oh my God. Cat's playing Putt Putt. It says Splatoon, but Cat's actually playing Putt Putt. So we're definitely going to raid into our pal Cat. Folks. If you aren't subbed, go ahead and copy that to your clipboard. You know the deal. And if you are subbed, go ahead and copy that to your clipboard. We're going to say hi to Simulation Cat. She's playing Putt-Putt. That's so fucking awesome. Um, I'm so excited because our, our raid message actually has... It's the logo to the game that she's playing. I hope she likes that little detail. Folks, I'll be back tomorrow night. It won't be Monkey Monday anymore, but it's still going to be monkey time. So we're doing monkey... We're monkeying around all week. And uh, hopefully we make it to the end of the week and we'll be done with our monkeying. Thanks to everybody who came by. Um, thanks to Pandora for, for sticking with us through to the end. Thanks to you for being here. Thanks to anybody who came by, anybody who chatted, anybody who was lurking, anybody at all. So you have a good night. And please, please, please say hi to Cat for me when we raid in. Thank you so much. Hope to see you soon. Oh, by the way, if you want to keep up with me, I'm on all these socials. So I hope to see you there as well. And if not, I will, I hope, I hope. If I don't see you on the socials, I do hope to see you on the next March stream, or I hope to see you around on here, on Twitch, on YouTube, wherever I see you. Have a good night. Bye now.